there, quick editor's note, sorry about the poor video quality, don't know what's happened, just didn't enjoy, bye. Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be unboxing this. Oh, that's upside down, I'm good at this. This is the Airfix Top Gun Maverick Mavericks P51 Mustang. This is part of the Airfix's new Top Gun range. And I've been quite excited to get some of these kits, and I'm sure you'll be seeing more of these kits in the future. But this is a, a P51 from the new film. I haven't seen the new film yet, and it was it's been delayed till 2021, as as some of you may know. But first off, let's start with the box art on the front. It has the P51 uh, on the top. It's got the FX logo and the Top Gun Maverick sort of banner. Along with a riveting style, which is actually quite interesting. Look, this, they only put this style of box for the Airfix, for the Top Gun range. On the top of the box, you've got the flying hour over here, the paints you'll need, the skill level, along with uh, information about the aircraft, a picture of the aircraft, and along with the Airfix logo and Top Gun logo. The side here is just a repeat of the front of the box, and that's the same with this side here. On the bottom of the box, it's got warnings and safety information in mul multiple different languages, along with the Paramount logo and the Hornby logo. Now let's have a look inside the box, shall we? See what we get. Um, you get, of course, you got the parts. I'll get into them a bit later. And the details. I've taken these parts normally come, out, come in bags, but I've taken them out of the bags to make it easier for your viewing. So the unboxing. First, we're going to have a look at the instructions, which is. Clearly the part you will wait for. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! That's what it's all about! Woo! So on the first page of the instructions, it just has a... Looks to be a scale uh, image of the aircraft. At the bottom it has the same as Airfix normally does, telling you that you should um, clean the parts before you build it. On the first page here, it has a... Uh, information telling you to study the drawings in multiple different languages, along with assembly icons. Now opening up the main instructions, on the first page you've got assembling the propeller, the cockpit and putting the two halves of the chassis together. On the second page you've got putting the um, wings together and attaching them to the chassis along with the flaps and the tail. On the final page you've got all the landing gear, and like the optional stuff, such as the bombs and the drop pods. Although this doesn't come with any bombs because it's Top Gun. On the back here, it has uh, the paint scheme for the aircraft, as it doesn't have it on the back of the box, which uh, some Airfix kits do. And that's about it for the instructions. Now I'm going to move on to the parts. So I'm going to start for the clear parts because I have a bit of a nitpick with these. If you can tell, the light looks a little bit fuzzy as well as, I don't know if it's picked up very well on camera, but they must look a bit dusty and scratched up. I'll have to polish polish these up when I build the kit. But it's almost as if it's just kind of been sat in storage for years waiting till the release of Top Gun. I'm quite disappointed with those. Now onto the um, first of the two sprues. It's got... Um, the fuselage of the aircraft along with the drop pods propeller and what well, looks to me the tail and a lot of the cockpit gear. On the second sprue here you've got the two wing assemblies and of course our little Tom Cruise right here. And then of course um, you've got the rest of the cockpit and the rest of the parts. But if you look very carefully you can see bits of flash on both these sprues. And it may end up taking me quite a while to um, get rid of it because there's actually quite a lot more than it looks. There also seems to be quite a lot of blemishes on the um, on the parts as well, which is quite disappointing. Moving on from the parts, we're going to go on to a final part of the unboxing, the decals. Now these are very, very good decals. It's got the invasion stripes along with um, the insignia that will go on the side of the aircraft along with the uh, uh, code I can't remember what that's called but yeah 
And then of course got the American uh, stars along with the invasion stripes in the cockpit detail. Which is more than the 109 I unboxed not too long ago had. I wish there could be a little bit more detail. So like warning labels and all that sort of stuff on these decals. But other than that, they're really, really good. And finally, I'm going to move on to my ratings. So the box, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. Uh, just because it's very interesting and uh, it looks like I've put a lot of effort into it and I, of course, quite like the Top Gun and the Riveting style of things. For the parts, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10 due to the fact there's quite a lot of flash on the main sprue and the clear parts are all uh, scratched up, which is an issue I've noticed with a couple of FX kits, like the Gladiator that I unboxed many, many months ago. The instructions, I'm going to give a 9 out of 10 because they're really clear and easy to follow along with, of course, the paint schemes being in colour. They're only marked down because uh, the actual build part is not in colour. The decals, I'm going to give a 9 out of 10 due to the fact that um, they are very, very good quality and um, normally with FX they're quite good to use but it's just lacking the warning signs as most um, aircraft from this era would, have, era would have written on them. And here it is on the scoreboard. Hope you enjoyed this video. There should be more build videos coming soon. And uh, have a great day. Goodbye. <laughs>